Ah, what a wonderful day it is on this beautiful Saturday morning. I think I'll just watch some outdoor TV. Oh, what is this? A text message? Well, someone is sure popular today. Huh. Remember the message from the cookie shop? If you stop by, you can get free cookies. Wait, did I just read free cookies? Wait a second. What kind? All of them! Yo! 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 Stop by now at blah 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 the other side of the planet. Well, that's no problem. We can get there. We can just take the Atmobile. Right. I, uh, I may have forgot to fix that. Well, it's okay. We have a jetpack. That's what that's for. We can just use the hydrogen bottles. Right. Huh. Well, you know what? It's free cookies, so we have to try. Hydrogen that you get from spawning? I guess we're gonna have to deal with you. What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to Space Busters, the series where we try things in Space Engineers to see if they're possible or to test their limits. In this video today, I want to find out just how far you can go on the Earth-like planet without any hydrogen bottles. Let's say we had a totally not hypothetical cookie shop on the other side of the planet. Could we get there if we only just had our jetpack and no hydrogen packs at all? No hydrogen bottles. Could we just use the spawning amount of jetpack and get there? How would we do it? What's the best means of flying on the Earth-like planet with your jetpack? Would it be to go straight up and get less gravity? Would it be to just go straight? Or maybe it would be to launch yourself at a 45 degree angle and try to use projectile motion to get you the farthest you can go. Today we're going to try all of those things to determine just how far you can go on the Earth-like planet on one charge of jetpack. Now, just some important things to mention. This is vanilla Space Engineers. There are no mods. I, I like to use, when I play SC, usually I like to use the speed mod to give myself unlimited speed. Today, that is not the case. We are capped at 100 meters per second. Additionally, this is survival mode. So if we crash into the ground too hard, we will demonetize our Space Engineers character into a pulp. Uh, so yeah, we've got to be very careful. There's no crazy bee hopping going around. I mean, we can, but like, but as long as we don't, we don't, we don't uh, hit the ground too hard. Okay, so the way this is going to work is we're just going to start flying in one direction towards that pie symbol right there. And then once we pass that, we're going to get to our cookies. So we're just going to fly in that general direction around the Earth until we get there. I I don't know that we're going to reach the cookies because we only have one charge of jetpack. But if we somehow manage to, then that's, that's our target right there. And if we can, actually, we'll even go past it just so we can see how far we can go. Um... So we'll, we'll see if we get there, but we're just going to start flying off in that direction. So my first idea, just for like a control, I guess, I, I, I by no means think this is going to get us the farthest, but just for a control, I want to see how far we can fly in one direction. So we're just going to, we're just going to turn on our jetpack and start going and see how far that is. Okay, let's just start going. Let's just turn on our jetpack and go. Uh, now we're capped at 100 meters per second, so this is probably pretty inefficient. Well, 109 technically, um, as per the space engineers. Um maximum but we've got our dampeners on which is not amazing uh we are also just kind of flying you can see we're at about half of our hydrogen at this point so <laughs> this is not going to be good we're going towards pi we're not going to get that far we would like to survive we would like to survive as well so you know what let me let me uh let me get ourselves so we can land that is the goal if we don't survive it is an invalid attempt i will say so if i need to i'll turn my jetpack off but yeah. Okay, let's let's stop right here. We're out of hydrogen pretty much. So this is our first this is our first go. We made it 3.85 kilometers. Wow, that is nowhere near the distance we have to go for cookies. Oh lord. This is gonna be fun. Okay, let's go ahead and respawn at our place and we'll try it again. Let's get some more hydrogen. Now I actually do have hydrogen in this thing. That was for a bit, just the uh, no hydrogen in the bottles. There is hydrogen in there so I can recharge. Uh, right here. Okay, let's let's do take number two. We're gonna try and see if we can get a little bit farther. This is just another test, so we'll 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 go right through it. And flying straight. Okay, it looks like this <laughs> started to rain. The weather is so cool. It looks like this other test of flying straight is gonna get us a little bit farther. Okay, our test go number two got four point six five kilometers. I think it's safe to say we're not going to be getting very far with this method. All right, back for another bit of hydrogen. Okay, so our first real test method we're going to do is we're going to try it because we've been using a lot of hydrogen. We've been wasting a lot. We've been uh, we've been we've been just powering through even when we're at max speed. We've been we've been uh, uh, pushing forward. We sh we should not do that. Let's try something else. Let's try to go. We're going to start flying until we reach about 100 meters per second, and then we're going to stop our jetpack. We'll stop our jetpack, let ourselves coast to the ground, and then we'll we'll do it again and again and again and see how far we get. 
Okay, so let's try that method. So jetpack up until we reach 100, and stop it. Now the reason that this might work better is because we actually... Here, I need to, I need to not die. There we go. Let's go again. We actually maintain our speed, so we're at 100. We'll maintain our speed. I'm going to uh, go a little bit farther just so I get over this edge. That's going to help out a little bit, and a little bit more actually. We maintain our speed as we fall, so this whole time we're not using jetpack, but we're still going, we're still, uh, we're still going the same speed forward. Okay, jetpack so we don't die when we hit the ground. All right, and there we go. Okay, oops, I don't want to run. Running is cheating. Jetpack on again. Let's try it again. Get to 110. There we go, and let's stop our jetpack and let ourselves kind of coast to the ground. And stop it right there. Okay, number two. Our oh, number three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're at 100. And let's let's uh let's let our coast. We we can already see we're getting farther than the other one. We still have 40% jetpack left. Maybe I'll get really good at this and figure out how to how to uh stop it just in time before we hit the ground. And let's do it again. There's 100. This is our first real method. This this is actually working pretty well. It's uh it's getting us a little bit farther. So we can already uh, determine one thing, and that is that if you if you uh, boost your jetpack up to its max and then stop it, you'll make it a lot farther, possibly even double the distance, than if you just uh, go straight the whole time. Okay, it looks like we might have one more power up. Let's stop it right there. We have six percent, which should be just enough to get us to the ground. Maybe a little more. Oh, I don't know. Okay, that that that's all we got. Oops. Okay. Looks like we beat hop a little bit there at the end. 6.61. That's pretty good. Let me turn off the rain actually. It's a, it's it's loud. <laughs> rain is loud. It's good in a it's good in a uh, in an actual survival playthrough, but in in this, I don't know. Okay, let's do another try of that same one just so we can be sure that we got the max distance. Uh, let's give it a go. On this one, I'm actually going to see if I can do a little bit better uh, stopping ourselves just before we hit the ground. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost us a little bit just so we get over this little edge here. This is a good opportunity to save some some stuff. I'm gonna boost us. There we go. Because we can save a lot of speed because we're coming down here. We'll get a lot of distance out of this. Of course, it's gonna be the opposite once we get to the other side, but, uh, but yeah. Okay, so if I can get better at being efficient right here, stopping us just before we hit the ground, then that will save us some, uh, some, some jetpack. Uh, we might. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna B hop all the way down this mountain. It, it seems. I didn't have I didn't have much jetpack to stop us, but let me uh, let me just use that last bit right there. Use up a little bit of our stuff. Okay, it looks like 7.9. A little bit of an increase, but I don't see us going very much farther than that. Perhaps we could get a little bit farther with more efficient uh, landing, but I don't I don't know how much farther. Maybe eight kilometers at max. We need to try something else. I'm actually curious. Let's try a run where we travel at 45 degrees. Maybe even, like, we'll, we'll travel like that. We'll do the same thing where we go to 100 meters per second and then stop it, but at 45 degrees strictly. The other one was kind of going straight for a lot of the time. Let's do 45 degrees. Okay, I don't know exactly what 45 degrees is, but it should be, like, up there somewhere. So let, let's let's just aim for that and see if we go a little bit farther with that method instead of this one. Let's see, because we're, we're getting much higher, so we might even be able to make it over this lip right here without uh, without even trying, really, on the second go, right? And efficient stop. Oh, perfect. Okay, that used about 15% of our of our hydrogen, so that was pretty good. Uh, let's do another one. 45 degrees. I think this one's gonna get us a little farther, which is gonna be quite gonna be quite nice. Okay. Yeah. So before, remember, we had to boost ourselves over this lip right here. You can already see we're getting farther with this method, which is pretty good. And oh, this is gonna be a tough stop, actually. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna boost us forward a little bit. Actually, honestly, wouldn't it have been smarter to, to stop right on that edge and then boost forward so we get the the max distance? Possibly. That's for that's for a different debate, though. Fuel 
critical. Oh, a little bitty hop back, be hop action there. Let's just go a little bit forward with the last bit we have. And be hopping as well. I'm starting to see a trend. Be hopping is a pretty good method. 6.72, not our farthest. Not our farthest at all, but we're, we'll try it again with dampeners on and see if that helps a little bit. Prior to this, we've been using dampeners, which have been keeping us from going left and right uh, and, and have been um, perhaps using more. I've heard a lot of people say uh, in the past that dampeners use up much more of your jetpack, even if you're trying to go the direction you're going. Um, so we're just going to turn them off and see if that helps. See if that is true that they use up quite a bit. Uh, prior to this, we've been just turning our jetpack on and off when we want to stop and go. Just making sure I have max here. But now, there's no dampeners. Alright, let's get a running start and we'll, we'll stop right there because that's where we've been starting before. We're going to aim... I don't know if 45 degrees is the best. I think maybe 30 degrees. What we were doing before was. So, running start and go. Oh god. Okay. This might actually work better. Because we're not... It's not necessarily... Oh god, that hurt. Okay, okay. We just need to not... Oh man, okay, okay. Uh, I now see that this is going to be much harder than I thought. Uh, okay, dampeners. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I forgot that it's also dampeners that are stopping me from, from dying. And then we'll stop ourselves. Oh gosh. <laughs> I just need to... I need to start stopping myself earlier. Oh, oh man. This is kind of be hopping a little bit. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with this. Slow ourselves down a little bit and stop. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Oh man, we're getting we're getting pretty far. We're now I do plan on trying a, like a strict b hopping attempt as well, which is just like what we're doing right now. But oh god, how come the dampeners make it so easy to stop? I I was pressing space and S this whole time. <laughs> Okay, new plan. Here's what we're going to do. Since I can't seem to stop myself, what we're going to do is we're going to use no dampeners to get up to speed. And then we're going to use dampeners to stop us when we get towards the uh, towards the bottom. Okay, that's that's the way we're going to do it. That is the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I will like it. Okay, <laughs> dampeners off. Let's go, jetpack on. Get up to speed and stop right there. In fact, we can even, yeah, there we go. Since we're not using dampeners, anytime we're below max speed, we can just stop ourselves. Okay, now dampeners on. Yeah, how do dampeners stop us so well? Oh, what is this? Oh, what what is this we've just discovered? <laughs> I'm not using jetpack. Oh, that was interesting. We can float. Let me add that to a way of trying. We need to try floating. Let's fire ourselves and stop. Well, jetpack can stay on because we're, we're, our dampeners are off, actually. So we're not at max. There we go. This is actually a good way to keep our max up. Our max speed, because it does start to go down when you're like flying in a in a up and down kind of situation. Okay, and turn it on. Okay, that wasn't very efficient, but I'll take it. Okay, and jetpack off. So it looks like if we if we don't turn our jetpack off, we actually kind of float. We we like kind of hover over the ground without using any jetpack. And now that is interesting. That is an interesting uh, development that we've made there. This has got to be the farthest. And in fact, if we get over there, we can actually float down that little bit. Yeah, let, let's let ourselves float. We're not using any hydrogen here. We'll just float down. Oh man, this is this is broken. <laughs> okay, we got to turn it on a little bit so we, so we don't die there. So anytime we're going forward, we just leave the uh, leave the jetpack on and the dampeners off. Anytime we're going backwards, we turn off the jetpack. Okay, we're definitely gonna make it to the shadow this time, which is which is pretty cool. Fuel critical. Uh, we have three left. Ooh, stop us at the last second there. We'll float. We'll float a little bit. We'll do a little bit of floating. Is that getting us farther? Kinda. Okay, I'm gonna stop this floating. It's not gonna get us that far. Uh, looks like 7.25. That is the farthest we've gone so far. Congratulations. Dampeners off has succeeded. Well, it hasn't succeeded to gain the cookies. They're still super far away. Getting a little bit of glide action here. This is fine. I'll accept it. We're not using any hydrogen and we're, we're getting forward. I'm just going to let it go until we start going backwards, pretty much. Because if we want to reach the cookies, this is the only way we can do it. This this seems to be the best way. We're, in fact, gaining speed while gliding. Not using hydrogen. We're gaining speed. This is insane. Uh, looks like we're going over the cliff on just our first jump. That's going to hurt a little bit. Oh, let's slow ourselves down a little bit. We'll do a strict glide run uh, um, after this one. Well, we'll do a B-hop run and then a glide run, I think. Ah. 
I do have to use some of this, uh, some of this to stop myself. Oh, man. Can we not take any damage on this? This is kind of a steep... Okay, yeah. Okay, let's 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 save it for the glide run, but that did get us pretty far, which is pretty impressive. Okay, I think it's been made clear to me that the glide run is perhaps the best way that we can get uh, distance, because you can essentially glide for free. Like you're not losing any. It's similar to bee hopping, but it's even stronger. I would argue. We'll try both of them, but let's try a, a glide run. There we go. So we're on the ground. You can see, and we'll turn off. Yeah, look at this. Oh shoot! I turned my dampeners on. Okay, I messed it up. Let's let ourselves just glide right here. How come gliding is not working when I'm trying to do it? <laughs> Alright, go to the edge. We're going to use a little bit of jetpack to go up a little bit above this hill, and then we'll stop. We'll let ourselves kind of uh, kind of just go. Let's turn ourselves a little bit. I think the gliding might work better. Yeah, the gliding definitely works better if you're turned a little bit. Like if, you're, if both your feet are not on the ground. I think that's how you have to do it. Alright, let's see if we can get to the edge of this. There's like a little lip that I'm kind of afraid of, because if I bounce incorrectly... Okay, that's fine. It, it seems like a very dangerous lip. Oh, this one's this one's dangerous too. Oh, that hurt. Critical. Okay, we're gonna have to stop ourselves here. That's gonna it's gonna hurt if we mess this one up. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. Whew. Okay, dampeners off. Jetpack on. Let's do it. Turn ourselves a little sideways so we get that nice uh, that nice speed. Ah man. Oh my God! Look at my jet! Look at my uh, look at my thing! That thing went flying. Okay, you know what? Enough of this nonsense. I've got an idea that I want to try, and I want to see if this idea holds merit, if this is possible. So the gravity of the Earth gets weaker as you get higher. What if we use our jetpack to go up first, and then try to use it to go forward in the less gravity so we can uh, we can have a, a higher projectile motion? Can we get high enough, I wonder? Um, I think the best way to do this is with dampeners off, uh, We'll pretty much try to keep ourselves at max speed, so we won't boost our jetpack constantly, but uh, pretty much we'll, we'll we'll stick it between 100 and 110. We'll just try to keep it fluctuating in there. Okay, let's try this. This is going to be an interesting idea. Um, yeah, okay, let's do it. Oops, okay, jetpack needs to be on. All right, let's go up, 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 up. We'll see if we can even get to a point where our uh, gravity is less. So see, keep it fluctuating there. If we go too high, we'll ra we're wasting jetpack. Ninety-nine p gravity. Oh man. Let's angle ourselves forward a little bit, and see if we can actually use some of this for uh, for for speed. This might actually work. Oh shoot. I've you know, okay, there's one problem with angling ourselves forward. If we angle ourselves forward, we start getting horizontal speed and we stop being able to get vertical speed because we can't, uh... Yeah. Oh, man. I've, I've messed it up. Oh, we're not getting very far, are we? <laughs> Oh, this was a sorry attempt. Oops, I've used some I've used some jetpack there by accident. This was a sorry attempt indeed. Fuel critical. Okay, it looks like this one has only gotten us 4.34. Okay, let's let's try and do it better. I'm wondering if I just boost myself at 45 degrees. Because going up we definitely reached lower gravity. But the the problem is we only went up. What if I boosted that at like 45 degrees and did the same thing, trying to go up, only using one booster, only using the back booster? Let's try it. Dampeners off. Jetpack. Jetpack on. And we need to aim forward. Okay, let's let's refill. Hang on. Dampeners off. Jetpack on. Aim forward. And we're gonna use this one. There we go. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a very tough view to look at, I can imagine. But uh but it's gonna get us. It's gonna get us some good distance. I think we're we're using more jetpack trying to do this than we were just trying to go up. But this might get us much farther. I'm just gonna keep boosting it so we go up. I'm not gonna min max anything. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep boosting it. Let's even aim a little bit forward. Oh, 
Okay, we're getting past the shadow here. Uh, we're gonna make it to that cliff. Well, we're gonna make it to the bottom of that cliff. Okay, I need to use the last of my stuff to stop me once I get to the ground. Yeah, we're gonna make it to the bottom of this cliff. That's pretty good. And get ready to stop ourselves and stop. Oh, that might be late. No, we're good. Okay. We have a little bit left, actually. Uh, I guess we'll just go on the ground like this. Glide a little bit. <laughs> and we'll stop ourselves right here. That, yeah, that's 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 all we got. 9.38, a new record. That's pretty good. I don't think I gave enough credit to going up. Let's try that one again. Uh, pretty much the same thing we just did, but up again so we can get to the less gravity. Because we know now that we can get there. And once we get there, maybe we go up a little bit farther even, and then kind of push it forward. Let's try it, okay? I'm going to let ourselves go down to point 30. Uh, maybe even point 29. Okay, we're going to let ourselves stop. We're going to let ourselves lose all of our horizontal velocity. We're just going to go straight. Let's keep that velocity up there. We're going to keep going straight, and we're going to use... I don't know where we're going to land, but we're just going to keep pushing straight a little bit. So we keep some velocity here. We only need about 10 to reach the, reach the, um, uh, to get, to, or we, we only need about 10, maybe even 8 to land. So if I push this a little bit down to that, okay, there we go. We should be able to land with that. Wait, where did we start? Oh, we started there. Oh gosh, we're definitely not going to reach the shadow. It's an interesting idea, and maybe with a little bit more jetpack, I think we might be able to use it pretty well. But, um, but no, it looks like the, if, if we're going up... The 45 degree angle one was the best. Fuel critical. Okay, our second attempt at going up only netted us 2.86 kilometers, which is nothing compared to all... That is the lowest attempt we've done so far. So uh, that that's not a good attempt. I, I feel like that idea is not one we should revisit. Let's try another one of that one that, uh, that got us really far. The 45 degree angle one. That we um that we did right before the last attempt. Let's try that. Dampeners off. Jetpack and angle ourselves. Kind of like this, yeah. We just gotta keep pushing it. Push it. Push it real good. You know what? I kind of want to see if we can land on that um on that cliff. How far did we go? Just going straight. We didn't get that far going straight, did we? Going straight, yeah, okay, so this works much better than going straight. If we can make it onto that cliff with only 50% of our jetpack used, that is huge. That is a huge uh, boost, because then we don't have to go down there. We don't have to waste jetpack trying to come back up. That That's going to help out quite a bit. Okay, we're going to let ourselves land here. Actually, no, why should we let ourselves land? That makes no sense. Or should we? I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to let ourselves land. We're going to lose all the speed if we do. I feel like uh, angling myself to the left and the right is not a good idea. Like I've been doing. Can we reach that cliff or are we, do, we, do we not have enough hydrogen? It's possible we don't have enough. We're at 19. I need. I, I think I only need about 5 to, uh, to land it. It's going to be close. Fuel 8. Hmm... Five. Fuel oh. critical. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. We're going down. Oh. Okay. We survived. Oh man. Okay. Our farthest attempt: eleven point zero six kilometers. This this might be the way to go. I mean, it's definitely not going to get us to the cookies because we're not getting that far. But eleven point six kilometers is pretty good. That's that's pretty good distance. Okay. Let's switch it up a little bit. This is one that I've wanted to try. Uh, we'll turn the dampeners back on for this one. B hopping, I want. I, that's how I get around. Usually, when I play survival, I do B hop uh, to save fuel. And B hopping is just kind of uh, flying really fast, low to the ground, and then turning off your jetpack so you hit the ground and bounce up and down. And in this one, your health is really a resource because you can use it to uh, to to go farther. I mean, the pretty some in some cases you can hold off on stopping yourself, lose a little bit of health, but keep your speed. So that's that's what we're trying to do here. It's not really B hopping like in in. Uh, in Valve games, but you know, it, it looks kind of like it. Okay, let's attempt this. Here we go. That's our first B hop right there. We can we can perhaps reach or hit that. Well, maybe we'll just go up first. Actually, go up, turn it off. We're gonna hit the ground and kind of bounce. See this? I'm gonna turn it back on again. Get ourselves kind of level, 
and we'll bounce right here. There we go. Look at that. We've only used 88% and it looks like we're going to get over the cliff. I'm going to... Mm, yeah, so it hurt a little bit. See, we're using our health as a resource in that case. It hurt a little bit, but we kept our speed, which is important. Okay. We're going to have to uh, we're going to have to completely stop right here, aren't we? Okay. Oh, we're in a bush. <laughs> Hi, bush. All right. Um, this is all kind of a flat area, so we can just kind of uh, go forward with this. Get up to like a max speed or almost max speed. Lose a little bit of health. Keep your speed. I'm going to I'm going to hold off here again. Health. We lost a lot of health there. That might have not been worth it. Okay, right here, I'm going to stop ourselves so we can kind of get up to speed right there and bounce. We only have 10 health remaining, so this is this run might not be that great. But we'll try to survive at all costs here. Okay, we have only used 68% of our hydrogen, and we're already uh, almost at half of what our, um, what our previous record got. Of course, the previous one kind of got over the mountain, which is kind of important. Although we can kind of go to the left of the mountain, it looks like. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm rambling so my health comes back. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, maybe right there. Okay, and we're going to have to use some more to get up to this thing. Bounce ourselves over it. There we go. It's, it's, um, it's, it's fun doing this. I like this method. Okay, that's pretty, that was pretty good. That was, I mean, that was not amazing. Oh, there we go. We took no health, surprisingly, on that one. Unfortunately, it's a little more hilly here, so we have to use our jetpack much more to try and stop ourselves. I want to use a little bit here. Eee, that might not have been worth it. And this? Okay, we didn't take any. I'll use it here so we, um... Because, okay, so if you've got, like, max horse... Ah, that hurt! Ah, uh, there's nowhere I can bounce, is there? Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, nope, okay. This is this is as far as we can go, I think. Fuel low. We have ten. Okay, we can go a little farther. At much Fuel cost to our critical. health. We can go about there. Okay, six point four for a B hop. Let's do one more B hop run. I don't know that it has any has that. I mean, it's kind of promising. It's definitely not going to get us to the cookies. If any of them would get to the cookies, it would be the forty-five degree one. Well, really, I think the one that theoretically holds the most promise is going up and then using the less gravity to get around, but it just takes so much of your jetpack to get up there. It's I don't know that it's uh, it's worth it. Um, okay, let's let's try one more B-hop run. Try to use as little as possible of our jetpack here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a fail. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Health critical. bouncy <laughs> this one's crazy but it's so fun to do oh there we go that was a good bounce so when you actually do use like an unlimited speed mod it's it's so easy to go super fast with this you can get a good bounce that will just like send you flying and if you have no if you have like unlimited health as well you can just go as well like you bounce as hard as you can into a mountain oh god oh my god we have one hp Let's stop ourselves. Jeez, 1 HP. 8.36, that's already better than the other one. We still have 19 left to go. I'm just kind of afraid that we'll lose all of our health if we keep going. Um, let's just be careful. Let's just be careful. Famous last words. Oh, man. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. We have 8 left. Oh, gosh, I knew that would do it because it was angling up. Okay, that was a good B-Hop run. That was actually much better than the other one. Uh, we about reached where our body was. Uh, 8.66 kilometers, our best B-Hop run, but I don't think it's going to get us that far. If we had unlimited speed, the B-Hop would work much better. Honestly, everything would have worked much better. But I think so far our best is the 45 degree one. Okay, so in all the attempts we've made, I feel confident in saying that the 45 degree angle one uh, that got 11,000 meters is the best. Let's try that one one more time. See if we can get a little farther than that. So this one, I believe, was no dampeners and kind of kind of up 
at 45 degrees. We didn't use dampeners, right? I don't think we did. Dampeners off. Okay. Yeah, it was just this. It was just the... Yeah, it was pretty much just this. I'm just going to keep pressing it like this. Uh, and we'll just, we'll just kind of let ourselves go. See if we can get to... Um, well, any farther than we did before, really. If we could use a combination method, if we land over there and then use the glide method, we could save a lot of hydrogen, couldn't we? Okay, let's just return to the normal method, because the, the glide is, is going to get us killed. So we can kind of just keep going. We'll, we'll go this way. I think we might get a little farther than the other one. Because we're doing pretty well. I don't know that we'll make it over that, though. We might. No, there's no way. Push us a little farther. Oh, okay. Fuel. Use the last bit right there. Oh, land. Land it. Oh, land it. Okay, I think we made it to the top. Just land it. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, beautiful. 11.41. That is that is 400 meters farther. Since that's clearly our best attempt, and that seems to be the best thing that we can do out of all of these, let's give it one more try. See if we can get farther than 11,410 meters. It is going to be close, but we might get farther. Fuel low. Dang, it always seems like we reach this this point right here. I've got to use the last bit to stop us. Oh god, I <laughs> I thought the jetpack was off. My mistake. Okay, so because there's a chance that the the downward facing thruster is more efficient than the upward facing one, I am going to be using the the downward facing thruster. I'm upside down, flying. All right, now we just have to land it. Woo! I didn't... Man, the dampeners, man. They messed me up. Okay, my friends, this is everything that I can think of. I've tried everything that I can think to try and get my jetpack to go farther. Uh, I really thought B-hops would do it. And then when I when I realized that floating was an option, I thought that would do it as well. But it, it you just lose too much health to go that fast. And you have to, you have to tweak it so much so you don't lose health. It makes it very difficult. Um, I, I thought the uh, going up to get less gravity would work a little bit better too. Perhaps if you're on a smaller Earth, it would work a little bit better, that one. Um, but on the on the max-sized Earth, which is uh, 60 kilometers in diameter, it does not work at all. You just don't get enough forward speed. So let's let's have a little bit of rundown. So we were not able to reach the cookies. We were not even, even able to reach the halfway point. Um, which makes me sad because I had like a whole spreadsheet created so that I could actually accurately measure the distance we traveled around the planet as opposed to uh, in a straight line. Here are the metrics. Okay, so the, the worst attempt that we got was our straight up attempt number two. So we went straight up in order to reduce the gravity and we were, uh, we were seeing if we could then um, go straight with less gravity and then go a little bit farther. Unfortunately, that attempt only made it 2.8 kilometers, uh, which is about 0.76% around the planet. So um, yeah, not a great attempt. Don't try that one if you're on the max Earth and you want to go as far as you can. Another method we tried is just straight up flying straight. Just turn on your jetpack and press the forward button. That only got us about 4.6 kilometers. Uh, so maybe the max you can get there is 5 kilometers. It, it's, not a, it's not a great attempt. Don't do that one either. That only got us about 1% around the planet, which is not that far. Next up, we had our min-maxing one, where we turned on our jetpack to go up to 100, um, 100 meters per second, and then we turned it off until we landed and did that over and over. That got us much farther than just going straight. That got us to about 7 kilometers, which is uh, which is almost 2% of the planet. Um, planet circumference, rather. So, we did pretty well on that one. It's, uh, it's still not that great, but, you know, it's better than just flying straight. So, if you want to get a little bit more out of your jetpack, just stop it when it reaches 100 meters per second. And then land, and then do it again. Just keep doing that over and over, and it'll it'll uh, it'll work quite nicely for you. 
Next up, our B-hop and our float attempts, which are kind of the same idea. You just go fast and then kind of let yourself glide on the planet's surface, or in the B-hop's case, you jump. Uh, they're good, but they're liable to get you killed. Um, the max of these got us about 8.6 kilometers, which is is pretty pretty decent. I mean, that's not that's not terrible. It's a good 2.31 percent around the planet, which is uh, which is you know that's not a number to scoff at. It's solid. The only problem again is that's liable to get you killed. So if you're in a survival situation and you want to get as far as you can, that might not be the best best method unless you're uh, unless you're willing to toy with death there a little bit. Finally, we've got our champion method to getting as far as possible in vanilla space engineers with the jetpack. What you want to do is you want to turn off the dampener, turn on the jetpack, whoops, turn off the dampener, turn on the jetpack, aim forward and just press spacebar. And just keep doing that, kind of kind of go like this. And what that did is that got us uh, with a maximum of 11.4 kilometers away from our starting point, which is really good. That's a pretty, that's a solid, that's a solid go. That's 3% around the planet. Now, I know only 3% around the planet. I was hoping to get a little bit, a little bit farther, but, um, but that's pretty solid. So there you have it guys, the maximum distance you can travel without hydrogen on the Earth-like planet, on the largest Earth-like planet, 60, uh, 60 kilometers in, um, in radius. Did I say diameter earlier? I think I did. 60 kilometers in radius. The farthest you can travel is give or take 11 to 12 kilometers, um, depending on the method that you choose. What are your methods for flying the farthest? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments because there's there's a chance that you've got something that I just did not even think of, that I did not even consider. So uh, how, how far can you fly on your jetpack? Feel free to experiment with this yourself and let me know what your results are in the comments. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Busters!